Hi, this is Mick Elliott from Electronic Specifier at Productronica. I'm with Simon Payne, Chief Executive Officer of XJTAG, who've introduced the Million Dollar Giveaway at Productronica. Simon, can you give us some background to this promotion, please? Sure, Mick. Um, delighted to do so. So, XJTAG is uh, celebrating the upcoming 30th anniversary of the ratification of JTAG, Boundary Scan, becoming an IEEE standard. And we thought that this was too good an opportunity not to promote JTAG and Boundary Scan generally to the marketplace, to anybody who's not been familiar with it, and give them an opportunity to find out what JTAG boundary scan testing can do for their boards. So we came up with the idea of promoting the XJTAG million dollar product giveaway to give people an incentive to take a trial of our full development system. So what we have here is the full development system that we would send out to uh, potential uh, people who would be interested in this promotion. Uh, what we do is we get the Board, their board up and running using XJTAG, they take a 30-day trial with the full development system and then at the end of the trial they get to keep an XJTAG analyzer license along with the rest of the XJTAG hardware. Okay, and how, just uh, briefly, how has XJTAG boundary scan evolved over the 30 years? How have you seen that and how has XJTAG met the demands that come from that. Okay, so um, Boundary Scan and JTAG has been around 30 years. I still think there's lots of people who don't actually know what it can do or how it works, which is why we spend so much time trying to educate the marketplace and help people understand that. XJTAG was one of the last uh, providers to come up with a solution for the marketplace. And as such, we were looking for a solution that would appeal both to design, development engineers, as well as for manufacturers. And we introduced the whole concept of reusable tests, the idea that uh, it's test IP that you're generating and that you can reuse this test so everybody benefits throughout the whole product life cycle. So we provided a tool that is easy to use, uh, provides a reusable functionality um, and what we are encouraging people to do is to try the system out for themselves on their own board and we'll do the setup for them so that they can actually find out for themselves how good it is at detecting problems in designs and how it can help them pinpoint where those problems are and resolve them. Okay, so in, in effect, if I'm a design engineer, I can start using your product and then there's almost a seamless route straight right through to the manufacturing engineers in the same company yep. taking the product. Absolutely. Okay. So we, we've even produced some tools which can uh, help people look at testability at the EDA stage. So we've worked with partners like Zucan, Altium, Cadence, Mentographics to produce a, a plugin that allows people to look at testability before they even produce their hardware. But the system comes into its own when you get your first hardware back and you want to be able to test your prototype. Generally, you haven't got any tests available. XJTAG can actually help with that process of actually having some tools which can help you debug your design, isolate perhaps manufacturing faults that might have been introduced, uh, isolate those quickly. And everything, as I've said, that's done at that prototype stage can be reused in manufacture later. Okay. And the XJ Analyzer is an important product in this JT boundary scan market. So can you just talk maybe through one or two of the features? Okay. So the beauty of the XJ Analyzer is it only needs one piece of information about the board, uh, and that's the, uh, the uh, apart from having a connection to the board, which is your JTAG connection, yep. uh, you need one file, which is for the JTAG devices, which is the BSDL file. This file is generally freely available from chip vendors, and with that, you can have a graphical uh, 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 view of your JTAG devices, an interactive view that allows you to click on the pins of your device and change their state. So you're interacting with your board. Now this is particularly important where you've got an uh, increased number of BGA devices where there's little or no access to those pins. So you will have an interface that actually gives people the opportunity to see what the state of the pins are. So on here we've, we've got a picture of uh, one of the screens zoomed in. So red is high, blue's low, yellow's oscillating and black is a power or linkage pin. 
um, and it really does give you that ability to to click on your screen change the state of that pin and let's say it was clinked to a, an LED for example and you're making it toggle it would make the LED flash on and off so the alternative that people have been using today has either been functional testing or uh, as a last resort quite often they, they would send their board off perhaps for x-ray to find out what's going on so this would give them a alternative route to explore. Simon, thank you very much for your time. All right, it. thank you.